Hey, I guess today you can call me Rudolph, right? <laughs> I wanted to talk about the subject of objectification. There is negative objectification and there's positive objectification. It seems most intersectional third wave feminists and a number of SJWs don't seem to see the difference and they don't seem to see there a need to say that there's a difference. So let me give some examples of something. Okay, and I've talked about this subject many times before, but it's it's worth bringing up in different ways to to possibly get people to see, hey, your views are kind of fucked up. So, if you come up to a musician whom you really, really like their music, and you come up to that musician and say, I love your music so much, you make such great music, and that musician turns to you and says, well, you don't know anything about me. This is offensive. You don't care about who I am as a person. You don't care what makes me tick. You don't really care anything about me. All you care about is the music I make. Would that seem like a pretty pathetic response? I'm, I'm sure it would. This person has said something positive about the music someone makes. It should be considered positive. If someone is great at working on engines, they're a great mechanic, and someone comes up to them and says, your, your reputation is unsurpassed. You are a fantastic mechanic. You can do amazing things. And that mechanic comes up to you and says the, basically the same thing that musician said. Well, you don't care about who I am as a person, how I think, what my worldview is. You don't care anything about that. Hmm. Would seem like a ridiculous response. If someone comes, if you come up to someone and say, your hair, I love your hair. Your hair is fantastic. Your hair is great. That person could respond saying, well, you don't care about me as a person. You don't know anything about me. How dare you come up to me and just tell me something like this? It would seem pretty ridiculous. And yet, if, some, if you came up to someone and said, you are beautiful, or, or something on that order, well, that response is suddenly okay. You don't care about me as a person. You don't know anything about me. You don't care about my worldview. You're not thinking about me as a person at all. Why does that suddenly change? When you are only thinking about the music someone makes or the work they do, you're objectifying them. When you say something about the way that someone does their hair, you're objectifying them. And yet, if you say something about someone for something that they have, you know, they don't really have control over, it's just something that they are, it's suddenly bad. And in some of the minds of some of these intersectional third wave feminists and some of the social justice warriors, going up to someone and telling them, you are fugly, you're a fucking ugly. Who beat you with an ugly stick? That is somehow in their minds, crazily in their minds, looked at as the same as if someone went, It's crazy. It's it's downright crazy.
as long as what is being said is positive, why the fuck are you going to take it as some sort of an insult or a threat? That is fucking idiotic. It's idiotic. Now, if someone is coming up to you and telling you, telling you that they think you're fugly or they think you're ugly, they think you're horrible looking, you know, that's a messed up thing to do to somebody. That is someone going out of their way to try to hurt somebody. And then that's quite different than someone coming up to someone and saying, hey, you know, that I mean, this is still not that great to do to somebody, but... It's still, you know, if at least if you're coming up to someone and saying something that's constructive, like, hey, uh, the hat you're wearing, if, if it was a different shade of blue, it would go with your outfit much better. No, they didn't ask for your, for your uh, advice on fashion, but at least what you're saying is constructive in some way, right? It's still not cool, but at least there's some constructive value to it, right? But just going up to someone and saying that they're ugly, what, what, is, what is the purpose of that? What are you trying to achieve with that? It doesn't make any sense for someone to do that to someone, unless you're just trying to be mean, unless you're just trying to be an asshole. There's a video I saw by, oh, now I can't remember her name. Um, I was just shown this. And she, th this, the subject of, you know, when people come up to someone and tell them that they're ugly or they'll, they'll go around sharing someone's picture. Oh, look how ugly this person is. And that's fucked up. And there, there's this person that, that uh, made a video about this recently. I subscribed to her channel, even though I don't know very much about the other content she makes. I will leave a link to, to this video in the description bar. I'm not going to tell you, oh, go subscribe to her channel, because I don't know anything about her other content. I just know that I liked this one particular video. Um, but I, I agreed with what she said in it. You know, What is the point in telling someone something that negative? Well, you're just basically trying to destroy or damage their self-esteem. Do you think that's a good thing? 